Yeah, good evening and welcome back to this day four of the Remote Darts League. And we have another great match to look forward to here. We see the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton, taking on the Quiff, Jim Williams. Let's get the two guys in for a chat with us. Uh, gents, I'm really surprised when I looked at the head-to-head -head that there hadn't been more recently and I can't find any on the major stage between the two of you. Oh, nothing. Oh, yes, um, semi-finals of Turkish Open, I think. Yeah, it, the only it, thing, just in the Opens. Yeah, well, at Turkish Open, almost... England Classic, I think. Mm. But we're going back five or six years, aren't we? Yeah, but I've not been playing that much, have I, so... <laughs> so it's your fault. <laughs> yeah, it's my fault, yeah. <laughs> we're not going back so... that long, because Daryl beat me back last summer in, um, in Wolverhampton. Can you buy in the first round. I was seeded number one that day and I drew out Daryl Fit in first round. I was like, oh, perfect. You just won the um, Champions of Darts the day before, so who's complaining? <laughs> <laughs> well, I won about 20 minutes after I stood up to the hockey with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I love, you see, talking to the two players. We could do all the stats we like, but only you two have the memories like that. Uh, let's look ahead at tonight. Uh, Jim, unbeaten. Three wins out of three, but you're not top of the table currently. We've had a couple of good performances here this evening. So, work to do. Yeah, everybody's tough in this, aren't they? Um, obviously, I got one of the one of the greats tonight, tonight so it, it doesn't get any easier for me. So, yeah, I'm just going to try my best and see what happens. And, Daryl, you've looked strong as well. I mean, you've won two of your games, and the game that you lost against Tony O'Shea... You had plenty of chances, didn't you, to put that away as well? So, looking uh, in a good position. Well, it was one of them things, isn't it? It's typical me. <laughs> I'm the underdog. Play well when I'm the underdog. And I think um, with Tony, I've always been the same. Me and Tony's games have never been, you know, that good, really. Not from on my point. We've had some good games, but not, you know, the results have not gone my way. So, but I could... These um, round robin situations, it doesn't matter who's on top now. It's at the end of the week, isn't it? So, yeah, you're absolutely right. This is night four of nine, but between you, you've won five out of the six games. So we're really looking forward to this match. If you want to get yourselves warmed up, okay. Good luck, Jim. We're really looking forward to it. So we've seen heavy wins this evening uh, for Tony O'Shea, seven two over Demon Stanley. We've seen James Richardson, a seven one winner, and we've. That was over John Walton. And we've just watched Paul Hogan defeat Wes Newton by seven legs to nil. Got a feeling this one's going to be a little closer. Here we have the Dazzler, Daryl Fitton, three times a Lakeside World Championship semi-finalist, a former World Trophy champion. And he's taking on a former World Cup singles champion and the reigning World Trophy champion, Jim Williams. Just while those last practice starts are going in, I'll, I'll have the last sip of my uh, cup of tea. Perfect, thank you. So, gentlemen, if you both set, it is going to be Daryl that starts the match. Best of 12 legs. First leg it is, Daryl to throw first. Game on. Ninety six. Ninety six. Forty one. One hundred. Ninety-nine. 
27. One hundred thirty-nine. Thirty-eight. One hundred and eighteen. Hundred and twelve. Jimmy require forty eight. Game shot, two darts. Yeah, game shot on the first leg there to Jim Williams. And the second leg it's Jim to throw first. Eighty-three. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Forty five. One hundred and twenty five. Down to ninety six after nine. Hundred and thirty-seven. Daryl, you require ninety-six. Forty-five. Jim, you require ninety-six. Sixty. Daryl requires fifty one. One in two. Game shot and the second leg to Daryl Fitton. Third leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Ninety-six. Sixty. One hundred. One hundred. Eighty-three. 
46. One hundred and forty. Twenty nine. And Daryl, you require eighty two. Hundred and twenty-five. Daryl, you require forty. Forty and two. Game shot and the third leg to Daryl Fitton. Fourth leg, Jim to throw first. Six eight. One hundred eighty. First of the match goes to the Dazzler. One hundred sixty. Hundred and twenty four. What have you got there? I got fifty seven, uh, seven and sixty. You are correct, Jim. One hundred and twenty four. Fifty seven. Fifty-five. One hundred. Hundred and seventy. Yeah, great leave for thirty-two. Daryl, you require one hundred and four. Seventy-two. Jim requires thirty-two. Game shot. Game shot on the fourth leg to Jim Williams. Fifth leg, it's Daryl to throw first. Fifty-eight. Hundred forty. One 
100. Hundred forty. Forty six. One hundred and twenty one. Thirty-six. Jim, you require one hundred. Sixty. Sixty. Give me a require forty. Oh. Uh, Twenty one. Ninety seven. Jim, you require nineteen. Man, I've gone twice in that leg. Um, eleven. Daryl, you require 104. Okay, shot in three. Great shot from Daryl there to take the fifth leg. A 104 check out. Sixth leg, it's Jim to throw first. One forty. Eighty-seven. One hundred and fifteen. One hundred. Daryl requires one hundred and eighteen. Yeah. 
58. Jim, you require 73. Fifty-seven. Daryl requires sixty. Sixty and two. Game shot and the sixth leg to Daryl Fitton. The seventh leg, it's Daryl to throw first. One Forty on forty. One hundred and twenty one. One hundred and thirty seven. Great lead for thirty two. Jim, you require one hundred and sixty. One hundred and forty. Daryl, you require thirty two. And uh, 24. <laughs> Jim, you require 20. That's Game shot. And the seventh leg to Jim Williams. So back on throw. The eighth leg is Jim to throw first. Ninety eight. Ninety eight. One hundred and fifteen. One hundred and seventy-seven. Okay, great visit there. One hundred and forty. Good reply. Down to one four eight. Sixty. Daryl, you require one hundred and forty eight. One 
100. Jim, you require 106. Uh, 74. Daryl, you require 48. Forty-eight in three. It's game shot and the eighth leg to Daryl Fitton. The ninth leg, Daryl, to throw first. Sixty. One forty. Sixty. Hundred and forty. Ninety seven. One hundred and eighty. Perfect visit to leave tops. Second one eighty of the match for Daryl. One hundred and eighty. Daryl, you require forty. One hundred and eighty. Nearly treble twenty. Jim, you require 124. Uh, 44. Daryl requires 20. Two. The game shot and the ninth leg to Daryl Fitton. It's a point on the board. Tenth leg, it's Jim to throw first. One hundred and forty. One hundred fifty six. Hundred and seventy seven. Another one seven seven for Jim. One hundred. 
Jim, you require 84. Game shot, three darts. Game shot and the 10th leg, a 12 dart finish there for Jim Williams. 11th leg is Daryl to throw first. Ninety-five. Yeah, good thinking. Jim, 140. Wrong shot there, bye. Daryl requires 170. 43. That was the wrong shot as well. <laughs> Thirty four to leave thirty two, but Daryl, you require one hundred and twenty seven. One hundred and two. Jimmy require thirty two. Game shot. It is game shot and the 11th leg to Jim Williams. So we go to the 12th and final leg and it's Jim to throw first. One hundred. One hundred and twenty three. One hundred and thirty five. Ninety-five. Forty to leave tops, Jim. You require seventy four. Game 
game shot three darts. Ooh. Wow, what a finish. It went in the treble 11, but nine double 16. Takes the 12th leg for Jim Williams and a 6-6 draw against Daryl Fitton. Let's bring the two players back. Well, really yeah. enjoyed that match. We did say before it started, oh, I had a feeling it would be close and it proved to be just that. Daryl, mm. what's your perspective? A point gained, a point lost, a bit of both? A point lost, actually, to be 6-4 uh, up. Um, a point lost. Um, but I go back to one of the legs I'd... Um, I killed to 104 where Jim had had three or four darts a double and then uh, leg a little bit further up. I wanted um, 32 and I nearly had trouble 16 with the first dart. And, but, you know, um, it swings and roundabouts. And I think I'm happy to get a point, obviously. Um, like you say, it's not about winning now. It's about winning at the end of the, the, end of the week. And, uh, yeah. you know, good. I'm happy. Absolutely. Uh, and the brilliant 104, but so close to the 127 in game to to take both points. Yeah, well, I had a couple of ball finishes last night and um, I fancied it, actually. When it left my hand, it was going in, but it <laughs> yeah, wasn't, wasn't to me. Well, Jim, uh, when I announced that a point had been taken, uh, you showed great character from there on in, didn't you? I mean, you're the guy that had won three out of three. So you were really under pressure there and putting some brilliant scores, a couple of 177s and a great finish right there at the end to save it. Yeah, um, I'm real. I feel a bit deflated now. I didn't play very well at all, but I think it was just more Daryl putting pressure on me all the time. His scoring was so good. He was just relentless. And he just, you know, and like I said, I missed a few doubles and he took it out and it just it knocked the wind out of you a little bit. But yeah, I mean, He's beat me up before, like, so, yeah, it's one of the things you want to take, again. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were under pressure, and that finished right at the end. You had to adjust after the treble 11. So, great pre pressure checkout, and both of you have shown great moments in that match. And you do it all again tomorrow. Daryl, you're first up against one of your great mates on the circuit, Big Robbo, Gary yeah, Robson. Really. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. And I can have an early night. <laughs> Back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jim, as the random fixtures list comes out, you're in exactly the same slot tomorrow. Fourth game up against Paul Hogan. We're all really looking forward to that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens, isn't it? Um, I say, we, me and Dale both got a little max to look after tonight, so just hope this doesn't keep you up as long as mine does. You have indeed. I mean, you've both got the lucky charms. Jim has baby Max and uh, Daryl's big baby Max there, the dog that's nearly as big as him. Uh, both brought you a bit of luck here, a point apiece. Well done, Jim. Well done, Daz. Why? Good man. So big cuddles to both of the Maxes and we'll see both Daryl and Jim tomorrow. We have one more game remaining here at the Remote Darts League and it sees Gary Robson, Big Robbo, take on Alan Chuck Norris. Thanks, Richard.